People probably can tell me what that tree is right there, just by the shape of it. Uh, my wife and I used to ride down the road and have tree identification at 50 miles an hour just by trying to pick out the <laughs> shape of it. Uh, so it, it, as you work with them, you, you get more familiar with them, you get uh, comfortable with them. You've got uh, the smartphone that Cheryl's holding up there. They have apps on the smartphone where you can take a picture of the leaves of the plant and you go to that app and it will key it out for you. I don't find it real accurate some of the time, but for the basic things it is good. There are lots of books that you can use if you're not familiar with trees at all. Uh, this is a very good one. It's got the pictures, the Audubon, it's got leaves, bark. That's something I didn't mention is the bark of the tree uh, on the trunk versus the stems are going to vary a lot. Use your keys. You might find, like I have, this is a leaf key from Maryland. Uh, it works very good on the leaves. It's very basic and I used to use it for teaching. This is one more technician put together for woody plant identification in Western North Carolina. And it's very good, I found. But you can find lots and lots of keys out there and then you can, it's opposite, it's alternate. Oh, it's alternate, so we go to the next step. We're walking, walking down.